AI Kenya podcast presented by Microsoft. Welcome to Spotlight AI Kenya series. This podcast is meant for a wider audience that aims to understand artificial intelligence, the companies and startups that contribute to it and its benefits. I'm your host Alfred Ongera. So, in today's episode, I'm joined by Alice Salim Jr. and uh, Megan Allen from Inspired Ideas, a company based in Tanzania. They developed a solution called Dr. Elsa that's a digital assistant aimed to help health workers. So we are going to talk to them today about the technology and the challenges they face while they're trying to um, get users to adopt the, the technology. Ali and Megan, welcome to today's episode. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Yeah, We're so, very excited to be here, actually. Yeah, welcome yeah. to Kenya. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. So um, could you talk about your backgrounds? Um, I think I'll start with Megan. Could you tell us um, what you do, what you learned in school and stuff sure. like that? I studied mostly health throughout my college career. So I have mm -hmm. a master's degree in biology and society. Mm -hmm. um, and I am an HIV AIDS researcher in Tanzania, actually. That's one of the reasons why I came to Tanzania. Um, but I'm also a tech enthusiast, right? And I'm very interested in how we can utilize technology solutions in healthcare. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how I met Ali and how we work together now. Um, so yeah, that's mainly my background. What about she you, forgot Ali? to say she's the cool one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um. Thanks. Yeah. So uh, I am a software engineer by training. Okay. I am an AI enthusiast. Um, I didn't really go to school for AI or data science, but um, you you learn from the work that you do. Mm -hmm. So I studied, uh, I got my bachelor's from Florida Institute of Technology. I lived in Houston for a bit and worked there. And I started getting into AI when I worked in uh, California, okay. where we worked at a small project and we're trying to predict which uh, student will like which host yeah. as we're trying to house them. Okay, oh, so, that's yeah. interesting. Tell us about your solution, Dr. Elsa. What is Dr. Elsa? So Dr. Elsa is a health assistant tool mm -hmm. that utilizes AI and augments the knowledge and capacity of healthcare workers in resource limited areas. Okay, so um, it's a solution that is used by healthcare workers only. Yeah, so we're developing a tool mm. to initially be used by healthcare workers, but eventually we would like this tool to be utilized by governments and also just the general public. Um, so what the tool does actually is information is able to be um, fed into the tool, right? So the healthcare worker has the tool um, in a dispensary, let's say, let's take the case of a rural dispensary. Mm -hmm. And the healthcare worker has that tool. When a patient comes in, they're able to feed in information about that patient. So okay. where that patient comes from, what time of year it is, how old that patient is, and what the symptoms of that patient are. Okay. And then what Dr. Elsa does is it utilizes artificial intelligence to be able to give evidence-based diagno diagnoses to the healthcare worker to really help them make more evidence-based decisions. And um, what's the end form of Dr. Elsa? Is it a robot? Is it an app? <laughs> is it uh, a medical device? What well, exactly the robots is are it? coming. <laughs> but um, at, at this point in time, we deliver it through three main channels. Mm -hmm. We have an Android application, an iOS application, as well as a web platform. Okay. This is not to say that we are limited to these three. We also um, we have a cloud API, so we're working on integrating SMS-based uh, solutions as well. But uh, everything is uh, still we're still iterating okay. as we go. Yeah. How does Inspired Ideas define AI? Because different organizations view this technology in different ways. So, what's your perspective of AI, Ali? If you would like to take that. All right. So um, I I believe AI is a uh, it's a it's in its uh, buzzword buzzword phase of its life li of its life cycle. Mm -hmm. So um, every every new thing that comes in, like cloud computing, IoT, we first have to misuse it several times yeah. before we learn how to use it the right way. <laughs> so I think AI is one very misunderstood word, and it's used in exchange for machine learning often. According to us, uh, artificial intelligence is, in one phrase, intelligence exhibited by machines. And uh, if you take the example of self driving cars. Um, they are machines. They are not supposed to be intelligent. We all grew up knowing computers are dumb. But um, a self-driving car system can recognize a person mm -hmm. and stop. In that, there's a form of intelligence there where it yeah. knows what to do in case of situations that it might not have seen before. Okay. Yeah. And how does a health worker uh, give Dr. Elsa input? Do they speak to it? Do they type? 
Uh, actually, it's interesting if you, you should mention that we are working on a uh, speech recognition module mm -hmm. where you would put it on the table and um, the patient would talk to the doctor and would pick up some of the clues. Mm -hmm. But that is still very much in development. Right now, it's, um, it's a user interface and the doctor would put in uh, the patient's information. Okay. So things like age, gender, time of year, symptoms, and blood tests if available. Okay. Yeah. And um, what inspired this name, Dr. Elsa? Is there a story <laughs> behind it? Oh, yeah. I'll take this one. Yeah. yeah so, <laughs> All of the projects that I work with, mm -hmm. I, uh, I work on them on a, like based on passion. So they're all named after someone uh, who's had an impact in my life. Okay. So I, um, I remember we were talking about Mary. Uh, Mary is the name of my mother. That's the uh, artificial intelligence we're trying to push. Mm -hmm. But Dr. Elsa, Elsa was a girl in my high school. Oh, okay. Uh, she, so it's, she's a crush, I hope. Uh, well, <laughs> she made me uh, study very hard to impress her. So, uh, oh, okay. Some might say uh, she helped me get better okay. at math. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. So I would study so much so that I can tutor her. Okay. Yep. That's interesting. Getting back to Dr. Elsa, um, what's the main technology that's powering it? What's, what's really making it to be um, an AI system? I guess one of the really fundamental things to any AI is the availability of data. Yeah. And I guess we'll touch on that when we come to the challenges in a bit. Mm -hmm. But um, we are utilizing uh, neural networks for uh, disease recognition. So we would predict uh, which disease a patient has. This uh, falls between regression and classification. Okay. Um, one is where you're assessing the risk in percentage, and the other one, you're classifying a patient as belonging to a certain category of disease. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And uh, for forecasting, we're trying to work with the uh, Tanzanian government to look ahead, like uh, six months in the future, mm -hmm. this region, what will be the trending uh, disease? disease okay. Or just look outward and tell me when we're expecting uh, an outbreak, which is really hard to prove because if we say there's going to be an outbreak, they'll just stop, like intervene, and then we have no evidence. Team Dr. Elsa as the winners of the Body Challenge. Sahara Sparks, congratulations. Taking you back to the technology, yeah, because I'm sure we have some geeks listening and they want to know what powers Dr. Elsa. Yeah. Is, it, um, is it a classification algorithm? Is it a prediction algorithm? And sort of how do you build the technology that powers it? For the most part, it's trial and error. Okay. I mean, there's some rules of thumb where if you have enough data, go with neural networks. If you don't have enough data, there's other alternatives you can do. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, uh, we use uh, neural networks for classification okay. or predict as assessing the risk that a patient has, say, cervical cancer. Yeah, we use uh, neural networks for the most part. For those who don't understand what neural networks are, yeah. how, how would you explain that to them? Neural networks, just to mention, they've been around for about 50 years now, I think, mm -hmm. 50 or 60 years. Yeah. But they're just recently getting attention, yeah, mainstream hype, attention. Yeah. Thing, yeah, they're inspired by how, uh, how the human mind works, mm -hmm. specifically the uh, prefrontal cortex. Cortex, mm -hmm. right? So how a human brain works is one neuron fires mm -hmm. and fires to the other one, and they took this same model and uh, applied it to neural networks. Okay. So when you look at a neural network, it looks kind of like the a scan of the brain, and uh, that's how they work. Really, is you put in a lot of inputs and you get an output. Yeah. AI Kenya podcast presented by Microsoft.